Okay, I'm getting everything ready for this lesson. Awesome. I can't wait, because we get to talk about the moon again. I know, we've done that already, but that video was about the moon in general. We want to have a whole video about the phases of the moon. The phases of the moon. Ever wonder why sometimes the moon looks like this? And you might think, hey, that's just what the moon looks like. And other times the moon might look like a complete circle. What's going on? Well, the moon goes through phases. And what do the phases do? The phases change what the moon looks like to us here on Earth. Here are the phases of the moon. If you count them, you'll see there are eight phases of the moon. These are the phases of the moon. Notice in one phase, you don't see the moon at all. And in another phase, you can see the entire moon. So these eight phases have a big impact on what the moon looks like to us. Soon, you'll know all eight of them. All right, let's jump right in and learn these phases of the moon. Starting with the first phase of the moon, it's called a new moon. If you're wondering where it is, join the club. It's actually right here where the arrow is pointing. And notice you can't see a new moon. That's right, it looks like it just isn't there. So why can't we see a new moon? Well, during a new moon, the moon is in between the sun and the earth. Because of this, it can't reflect the sun's light toward us. So during a new moon, we can't really see the moon. That's pretty interesting. Now, after a new moon, the moon starts waxing. <laughs> what? Yeah, waxing. What is that supposed to mean? Well, waxing means growing. When the moon is waxing, it is getting bigger. Notice the moon begins waxing after a new moon and grows until it becomes a full moon. Waxing means growing. After a new moon, the moon continues waxing until it becomes a full moon. Just remember, waxing means growing. All right, we're ready for phase number two. And look at this number two, so cool, so icy, so awesome. The second phase of the moon is called a waxing crescent. A waxing crescent. That's an interesting name for this. A waxing crescent. Waxing, of course, means that it is growing bigger. And it is called a crescent moon because less than half of the moon looks lit. If you live in the northern hemisphere, the part of the world that is north of the equator, a waxing crescent is always lit on the right side. Hey, check this out. Here is a photo of a waxing crescent. Less than half of the moon looks lit. If you live in the northern hemisphere north of the equator, a waxing crescent is always lit on the right side. This crescent moon is waxing because it is growing. This is the phase of the moon after a new moon. Waxing crescent. Okay, you are ready for phase number three. That's right. The third phase of the moon is called first quarter. First quarter, hmm, which at first might seem a little weird. See, the moon is half lit with a first quarter moon. So what's the deal? Shouldn't first quarter be called one half moon? Well, when you have a first quarter moon, you are one fourth or one quarter of the way through the lunar cycle. You can see all eight phases of the moon here. A first quarter moon tells you that you are a quarter of the way through all eight phases. So a first quarter moon is half lit, and because the moon is still waxing or growing, in the northern hemisphere the right side is lit. Exactly one half of a first quarter moon is lit, and it is lit on the right side because it is waxing. All right. We are ready for the next phase. The next phase is called the waxing gibbous. Waxing gibbous, wow. Weird name, weird name. A waxing gibbous is more than half lit, but not quite fully lit. It is the fourth phase of the moon. A waxing gibbous is more than half lit and like all of the waxing moons, is lit on the right side. Here is a photograph of a waxing gibbous. Can you say that with me? Waxing gibbous. Softer. 
waxing gibbous. Finally, let's say it so everyone can hear it. Waxing gibbous. Great. The cool thing about a waxing gibbous moon is that when you see it, you know a full moon is on its way. And sure enough, phase number five is... Wait, Mr. Whiskers, you, you need to eat right now? Mr. Whiskers, this is not a convenient time. We're about to talk about a full moon and everything. Uh, okay, I understand. No kitty should wait. All right, there you go. There you go. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Phase number five of the moon. Enjoy, Mr. Whiskers. Phase number five. The fifth phase is a full moon. It is the easiest phase to spot. A full moon is completely lit. It is a full circle. Is there anything else to say about it? It's full, it's a full moon, and once the moon is full, it is all done waxing because it can't grow anymore. It's done waxing. Which means it will look like the moon is getting smaller and smaller. The fancy moon word for that is waning. Waning. That's an interesting word. Waning. The moon always begins waning after a full moon. But just like waxing, waning is a process. It doesn't happen all at once. Okay, so the moon begins waning after a full moon. It starts waning, appearing smaller and smaller until finally you can't even see it anymore. When you can't see the moon, remember, that is a new moon. The first phase we talked about. Waning starts with a full moon and ends with a new moon. When the moon is waning, it looks like it is getting smaller and smaller. Now, after a full moon, we have phase number six, a waning gibbous. Wow, a waning gibbous. As you can see, a waning gibbous is similar to a waxing gibbous, except instead of getting bigger every day, it is waning or getting smaller. A waning gibbous is more than half lit, and in the northern hemisphere, it is lit on the left side instead of the right side. That tells you that this is a waning gibbous. It is getting smaller and smaller. Next, we have the seventh phase of the moon. You know, the easiest way to learn the seventh phase might be to look at it with the other phases. Here are all eight phases of the moon. The seventh phase is right here. It is called the last quarter. The last quarter means you only have a quarter of the lunar cycle left. A quarter means one fourth. You are in the last quarter of the lunar cycle when you have a last quarter moon. So that name makes sense. Just like a first quarter moon, a last quarter moon is half lit. But because the moon is waning during a last quarter moon, the moon is lit on the left side. Quarter moons are always half lit. If you live in the northern hemisphere, the last quarter is always lit on the left side. Well, the moon has been waning, getting smaller and smaller. There is only one more phase before we start the cycle all over again. That's right, we are on phase number eight. The last phase of the moon is a waning crescent. A waning crescent. A waning crescent is less than half lit. All crescent moons are less than half lit. To figure out if a crescent moon is a waning or waxing crescent moon, just look at the side it is lit on. Waning moons are always lit on the left side. So a waning crescent is less than half lit and is lit on the left side like you see right here. Those are all eight phases of the moon. Pretty cool. If you have a favorite, you won't have to wait long before you see it because it only takes a month for the moon to go through all eight phases. That means all of this just takes one month. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. All right, you know what? It's time for a game. We're going to see how much we learned about the phases of the moon. Hmm, let's call it uh, the Phases of the Moon game. <laughs> yeah, that's a good name for it. Are you ready to play? Okay. Ooh, fancy music. 
will go in order just like in nature. What is this phase called? Yes, a new moon. Fantastic, and of course, you can't see a new moon. It's like it's hiding. What is this phase called? Uh-huh, a waxing crescent. Crescent moons are less than half lit, and this moon is lit on the right side, so it must be a waxing crescent. Great job. Hmm, what is this phase called? It's half lit. Yeah, first quarter. This is a first quarter moon. Very cool. How about this moon? What is this phase called? A waxing gibbous, a waxing gibbous, yep. A gibbous moon is more than half lit, but is not quite full yet. And we know it is a waxing gibbous because it is lit on the right side. Great. What is this next phase? What is it called? You got it, a full moon. A full moon is easy to spot in the night sky. It is completely lit, a full moon. You are doing awesome. How about this next phase? What is this phase? Uh-huh, a waning gibbous. That's right, a waning gibbous. After a full moon, the moon begins waning or getting smaller. A waning gibbous is more than half lit, just like a waxing gibbous, but is lit on the left side. You are doing a tremendous job. Let's try this one. What is this phase called? Do you remember? Yeah, last quarter. This is a last quarter moon. It is half lit and begins the last quarter of the lunar cycle. A last quarter moon. How about this last one? What is this phase called? Great, a waning crescent. A waning crescent. It is less than half lit, which is what makes it a crescent moon, and it is lit on the left side, so it is waning. Every month, the moon goes through all of the phases. The moon goes around and around, waxing and waning. It's pretty amazing. Well, you know all eight phases of the moon. Tell your friends. Tell a dog. Tell a cat. Tell a hamster. Whatever. Just tell someone. Because that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that you know all eight phases of the moon. We always love to thank our patrons for making videos like this possible. If you'd like to join as a patron, you can. You can click the link below and get cool tattoos or visit homeschoolpop.com. That would mean a lot to us. Thank you for learning about the phases of the moon with us. We hope you had a ton of fun. You are so awesome. And we hope to see you next video.